What's up, guys? It's Double Winning, and I've got some more Digimon Re-Arise for you. And um, I'm just going to kind of speed through some of these summonings because eh, you guys don't really care about the boring stuff here. But um, I did the step up, step four, and the step up final step, and I managed to get two Megas. The first of which was a surprise one, which I was happy about. And it was a Boltmon, which is awesome. Super happy to see that. But then besides that, unfortunately, my the rest of my summons were pretty underwhelming. Um, of course, you know, I, I got the I got the guaranteed um, metal Greymon, which turns into war Greymon, which is nice and all that, but it was it was a guaranteed one, so like I mean, it's a mega, you know. So I got two megas. Some people are like I feel like the, my beginning luck makes up for it because I, I actually have a good amount of megas right now but you can see here i got a bunch of oranges and so i was really excited i was like oh maybe one of those oranges could turn into a rainbow and they didn't so i just ended up getting uh the bolt boltmon and the war Greymon, which i'm still happy about because now i have i think i have a six total megas or something like that maybe five um but yeah, how have how have your guys' polls been going? Did you guys do the full five steps for the step up challenge or step up summon rather? And uh, how are you enjoying War Greymon? Um, I really uh, I really wanted to see if I could pull Sequoia Mon um, with these five steps, but it's okay if I didn't. Um, I've got a Noble Pumpkin Mon that's been been brewing until I have another Mega with that one, and then I think I have an egg that is guaranteed a guaranteed Mega as well. So like I'll be having some some Megas pumping up, and we'll be able to see um, what what I can what I can get going because you kind of need a, a different squad for raids and for for PvP and stuff like that. And then it's kind of nice to have some specialty ones for different clash battles that require like oh like stun resistance or stuff like that. So it looks like in Digimon Re-Arise, we've got a Halloween event coming up. Looks like Clash Battle Halloween Adventure, where we can gather Halloween medals for exclusive rewards in their special shop. So I looked at it, and it looks like, um, you know, pretty standard Clash Battle stuff, except for there'll be special medal exchanges, and you can get a... Halloween themed decorations, which might be cool for some of you guys who enjoy decorating your park and such. And you can get a digi egg that will grow into an ultimate digi, digi evolution of Pumpkin Mon chain, which doesn't seem that exciting to me, um, seeing as how like I have got a noble Pumpkin Mon that is like growing right now. So I don't really like. I feel like the ultimate digi evolution of a Pumpkin Mon chain doesn't really seem like that big of a deal, you know. Um, but it'll still be fun. I'll still do some of the clash battles. Um, we'll check those out. And this is going to be, um, let's see, October 22nd, Tuesday. So that's in a couple days, um, all the way through Halloween, October 31st. Um, I still love, you know, I love when games have um, Halloween event or not Halloween events, holiday events in general. Um, so what do you guys think about this Halloween event? Are you going to be participating? Um, and just so you know, uh, if you haven't gotten there yet, but uh uh, clash battles are unlocked after clearing main story act three scene three which um is pretty dang quick to get through but yeah so i just uh, wanted to uh point that out to you guys and then um i wanted to kind of go through my roster you know you guys saw that i got uh war Greymon, uh hit the chain for war Greymon after doing those step up summons that were kind of disappointing i didn't get too too much uh, good things but um i wanted to go ahead and kind of train up some of these digimon now that i've got a I need to get some more bits, so I'm probably going to do some the the bit uh, vortex or whatever it is. But um, you can see my team right now. I'm rocking a level 77 Arrow Vidramon. Got a level 40 Philmon, level 40 Digitamon, um, level 40 Blue Marimon, and a level 40 Monzimon. And then uh, it says team on my Starmon, but I've actually taken, I actually don't really use him as much anymore. Um, just because I, you know, I felt that I'm not really going to be putting any long-term resources into him. He was nice when I first had him, um, but I'm going to be, uh, I am going to be using this Metal Greymon that will eventually turn into War Greymon. And you can see I actually got his bond already up to 60, which now that I'm thinking about it, since it's going to take me some time to get him to level 60 um, and get him trained up and awakened and stuff, I probably shouldn't have maxed out his bond because we're probably going to get um, some good bond from just uh, battling with him. So... Let's go ahead and see how much I can level him up right now with my 60,000 bits. 
All right, so we got him up 12 levels. That's pretty good. Um, gain 181 powers, 91 defense, 294 HP. Um, and that should put him... That might be, like... Might be, yeah, that might be better than the Philmon. Yeah, it is. So we could swap him in, um, and then we'd have a, a team of all ultimates, which would be pretty awesome. Um, except I feel bad about getting rid of the homie, you know? But let's go ahead and uh, get him training. Um, let's see if we can get some workouts for him going. Because we really want to get to War Greymon as quick as we can. It looks like there's a couple of these that we can work on. So we've got... Get that workout ship. Oh, I might actually... Oh, wait. I forgot these are super cheap. I was going to say we might actually run out of uh, run out of bits. But I don't think that's going to happen. Nice. Okay, so that vortex is available. Oh, that's so cool! Look at that, like shoots across the the screen. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, that vortex is available. So I'll probably do some of those. See if uh, see if we've got uh, any of the bit vortexes going on right now too, because I need some bits. Always need bits in this game. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Uh, we don't have the bit vortex. It opens in 20 hours. I feel like it's never open for me. Every time I check, it's always like, nope, sorry, we're not open. We're not open, sorry. <laughs> well, I guess I probably do have some keys for it, but whatever. That's that's uh that's how my team's looking right now, guys. Um, if you guys are enjoying the Digimon Rearise content, be sure to leave a like rating, subscribe if you're new here. Uh, I'm gonna be posting some videos of the new clash battles uh, with Metal Garurumon, and then when the Halloween ones come out, I'll be posting videos of that, as well as um, posting a video of this game freezing. This game freezes on me a lot. I I play it in blue stacks. I don't know if it freezes for you guys, but it freezes all the time for me.